Great win for us. Um, you know, um, Georgia uh, has been playing really well. Um, and, and Mike still got him playing really hard. Um, and we knew there was a big, big prize on our head, a big number, at, you know, for, with our net and our ranking and stuff like that. Um, and uh, coming in without Jalen Williams, um, we had to change some things up. So we put three different guys in the start lineup, I'm sure. Um, you know, static Chad Baker. Chad Baker was the best player on the floor tonight. Um, on both, you know, certainly, he was, he was the best player on the floor tonight. Um, trust the ball, trust him with the ball in his hands as a playmaker. Obviously, he can make shots, you know, make, makes fouls, makes free throws. He shot, you know, seven, you know, of the 16 free throws that we had tonight. Uh, made them all. And, uh, you know, I thought Janai Broom um, you know, played really well and had to play two positions. I, I actually played Janai and Dylan together, um, which uh, had nothing to do with the fact that Georgia plays big, big, but just, again, putting the best, my best players on the floor. I thought Janai offensively in the second half was really key. Uh, Katie Johnson really struggled in the first half, but he played great in the second half, played great defense, made some big plays. Uh, we started Aiden Holloway just to see if we could – you know, kind of get him going. Two things on that. One, you know, nobody is harder on himself than Aiden. Okay, Aiden is one of the best freshman point guards in the country. He is. And when he hasn't played, hadn't shot it well for an, a bunch of games, you know, that could, that could have a young man lose his confidence. You spend time on social media and, and you're disappointing lots of people. Nobody's more disappointed than Aiden. But to his credit, he has stayed in the gym. He's kept his attitude really pretty good considering the lack of success he's had. But the team was still, you know, still having success without him. And he was okay. Speaks a lot to his character. But he stayed in it. He stayed in it. And if we can get him to be in a situation where he's feeling good, better about himself, um, that's a that's a real positive thing. Um, Cheney Johnson, uh, first Division One start of his career. What a what a great what a great game. You can see why our team is confident because it was the next man up. Um, Cheney was terrific defensively. He was offensively. He was calm. He got that ball inside. He he. he he took it closer. Ira Bohm has done a tremendous job with Cheney in his individual development. I'm happy for Cheney because he's one of the hardest workers that we, we, we've ever had. And, uh, you know, to come in and play 26 minutes and not even miss a beat. This team does like each other. And, um, and I, I thought it was just my coaching staff. I thought that my staff did a great job. Ira Bowman and Mike Burgermaster had the scout. They did a phenomenal. We changed some things up. We played zone. Hadn't played a lot of zone. We really respect Mike's his ability as an offensive coach, and and we just didn't want to guard a lot of the really good man-to-man -man offense that Georgia has. It's just we're not going to we're just not going to guard it. Can't guard it. Or it's hard to guard. It. And the zone helped help keep them off balance. Uh, sure. Uh, coach, did you feel like you didn't have to in the extra long week getting to this game after the Kentucky game one, you kind of get that next game going? Well, I think, I think it helped us from a standpoint of rest, physically and mentally. I don't know what the math will tell you guys. This is the last weekend of the bye. But I think, well, South, did South Carolina have the bye also? Yes. And they went to Ole Miss and won. And we, we you know, I, I, I bet you the teams that had the week off, I bet you they did well. In their first game, Bruce. Just, I mean, what does it say about these guys too that they were able to stave off that second half comeback, but do it while I mean, several of them were were in pretty deep foul trouble. We were in deep foul trouble. We were in deep trouble. Foul trouble. I just again, Georgia shoots thirty-one free throws, and with the exception of Chad Baker, who shot seven, the rest of my team shot nine free throws on the road um, when it got close late Chad Baker once again came into the huddle 
on the bench. Rallied the troops, calmed him down. Um, he is passionate. He's emotional. Um, he is uh, very appreciative of the opportunity here at Auburn. Um, it's interesting. He, he, he doesn't need to play at home to play well. <laughs> you know, Cheney Johnson's also, in many ways, played better on the road than he has at home. So I'm going to start Jalen Williams at home and start changing the road. <laughs> <laughs> You, you talked about just needing to hit shots, especially away from home. And you guys hit 14 threes out of season high. Just how, how, how important it is for you guys' confidence to see them go in away from home like this? This week, what I talked to the team about was um, you got to, in March, if you're going to advance, you got to start making shots. You got to get hot. I talked about the 2019, not to equate this team with that team, okay? But just to say, here's what happened. We played defense all year long. The last four games of the regular season, in fact, it started here, right? We went on and won 12 in a row, starting here. Chumo Kiki hit a big three from the top of the circle on an unreal B play. And, um, and so, I mean, obviously, not just my saying it, but guys understanding it. The difference between taking them and making them. And we showed that tonight. Uh, Bruce, you played uh, Trey Donaldson only 12 minutes and then Chris Moore um, didn't even get three minutes. Was that more game flow or was that the plan to play the other guys? You know, I, I, I just I made a decision this week to took two things. One, we were in foul trouble at four and five. And, and so I made a decision to have Chris be the backup four. And if we got in foul trouble with Dylan and Janai and Shaney, I was ready to play Chris at some four. So as a result, I took him out of the rotation at three, and I played Lior Berman there. And I just felt like, I felt like Lior, we kind of needed some of Lior's offensive spark. And uh, he made a couple baskets for us tonight. And, uh, and you know, he actually made a couple of two-point baskets tonight. He could shoot the three balls. So he did really well. Um, and then the decision to kind of go with Aiden was to see if we could get him going. And then also, um, Trey does a really good job feeding Dylan Cardwell in the air. And I thought maybe playing Dylan and Trey together in that second group might help get them going as well. So we made a bunch of changes. Um, and uh, you know, tonight they paid off. Two more, Nathan, and then for... I know you guys have never you know, wavered in your confidence of, of Aiden, but for him to start to see those go in, I mean, those are the same looks that have not been going in in other games. Yep. How, how, how good was that for him? How much did he get to boost his confidence? I'm as great. I mean, it makes everything we do work a lot better, you know? And it kind of looked like we're playing, you know, maybe he just needs to play in Atlanta or Georgia because it looked like we're playing downtown Atlanta tonight against Indiana. That's how we played. So... Uh, certainly makes everything we do a lot better. He played with more freedom, played with more confidence. Um, he still got, you know, he still got. There are things we still need to, you know, work on. We filed, we filed George's guards, you know, too much, and we let Silas get downhill, you know, way too much. So he shoots ten free throws. And Thompson shoots eight free throws. So that was a problem. Bruce, you talked earlier this week about how a lot of teams came in here early, struggled. Some really good teams yep. came. You guys defensively got off to a really hot start and were ahead for you know a good bit by from the person. Just how key was that, especially on defense holding that? That was key. Like that. Starting the starting look, Janai's plus twenty four, Chad twenty three, Aiden twenty three. So those guys started, they started really well. Um, and I felt like with Jalen Williams not in the starting lineup, I needed more firepower. And we did we and we got started well and we started better. So we'll see we'll see what happens.